balance back together back balance together <laughs> back balance <laughs> together and to the sides balance together and other side balance together T pose arms a bit, bit, bit flatter that's it and we're, we're done that was good that's good. <laughs> you know, no, I'm not joking. That was good. Not yet. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Southwest Creative Technology Podcast, all about exploring some of the exciting creative technology projects and the people who make them happen in the Southwest and beyond. I'm your host, Harrison Wilmot. And I'll stop doing these long introductions in season two and jump right into the interesting bits from the get-go, a little bit like I tried with this episode. Speaking of which, in this episode, I visited the Camera Motion Capture Centre at Bath University, where Benjamin Dunks and Chris Hunt were capturing the movement data of three lovely retired ladies by the name of Penny, Gloria and Gillian as part of their immersion prototype project, which I'll let Ben explain right now. So my prototype project has several different different aspects to it, but ultimately it's about using technologies to validate this movement and falls program as a way to build strength and to stop older people and vulnerable people falling. Essentially, that's that's what it is in a nutshell. So we're using motion capture here in, in camera to fully capture the, the bodies of three participants in their mid-70s as they're doing my program so that we can then use biomechanics to measure the change that happens over a six-week period. And we're using accelerometers to capture movement in three planes and also rotation in three planes as a gyroscope to capture movement on participants in Plymouth. We have three different groups there. And then we're going to map that data onto the data from Fitbits from participants to see if there's a correlation with increased activity in a session and a change in heart rate, change in movement, change in activity outside of sessions. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the left hands are still a bit funny, but shall I just accept... Is it, it's still the right orientation. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, the, right, it's the right orientation. Yeah, yeah, no, it's the left just gone a bit. Fine. Left yeah. fine. Fine. Okay, uh, so. Okay, yeah. That. And then just so you're kind of spinning around. Try and keep your arms away from the body, though. Just, just uh, with some air around your body. And during this moment of silence, <laughs> this beautiful, <laughs> calm moment, I'm going to wreck it for everyone <laughs> are you cool well, um, what by you, you speaking or by me speaking you speaking <laughs> okay oh, that's gonna wreck it for everyone is it yes. oh thanks thanks Harry. um could you describe what was going on right now so we're doing a uh balance force plate balance test at before our session to so do 60 seconds uh standing still eyes open and 60 seconds standing still eyes closed um <laughs> and then we do that be- begin before the session and after the session so we can compare them so the Eyes open is to just get a, a um, baseline, and yes. then eyes closed, because we have three ways of, of seeing, feeling where we are in space. We yes. have a proprioception, our eyes, and vestibular system, middle ear. So we take one of those out, take the eyes out, and then we mm. see what happens with the rest of the, those other two okay. and how they come into to focus. So then the idea being that, that we, by the end, at the end of the session, we measure it again, and it has a a better profile what's the fidelity of the recording what's what does it what does it exactly does it measure measures where weight transfer actually he's the boss so um, you have more detail what's it measure so it can measure the pressure so how much pressure you're exerting at each point on the foot so you see these red bits here that's where there's most pressure and then it goes to amber and then gradually to green as there's less pressure and it also works out where the center of pressure pressure is so this is this goes from your center of mass pretty much directly down into the into the force plate and the more this center of pre- pressure moves and the quicker it moves the more unbalanced you are 15 seconds left so then, uh, you know hopefully looking measuring this at the beginning and then at the end of the six sessions the idea potentially being that, that a the, the point of center of, of weight would move less or if it, if it moved the same, it would move at less speed. Um, 
it would be like less yeah. jittery. Less, yeah, less just, 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 yeah. And then we can, um, and then also we can potentially see a change in where the pressure is. If the pressure is a, a more even pressure, that would be considered to be a, a more balanced pressure mm. across the feet. So just just from those measurements, can you design uh, certain movements to help improve? Uh, yeah, I mean, what we're doing here is pretty much what yeah. that's, that should be. Cool. Um, that's that, and that's the theory. Yeah. And this is part of the, the kind of the, the weave that we're trying to prove that that's yeah. the, the, to be true. That's the hypothesis. So, um, yeah, that's the. Have you um, have you find any like particular movements which work best? Did you have some like old favourites which you find it's more of the back into themselves? Uh, it's more of the process of of um, structured patterning. Ah, okay. So it's more of the step, the the, the um, process where do an exercise that kind of reminds the, the person to, that uh, where the balance can be. Yeah. So an exercise that shifts them a little bit further onto the balance. And then another exercise that then brings them properly onto balance. And then an exercise where they're on balance and then they're moving other limbs and then just adding complexity mm. over the course of 45 minute session. And that's how, that's what this program does cool. that I've developed. So, um, so yeah. the sessions are 45 minutes long? Right, pretty much. Nice. And can you can you see results like straight away uh, pretty, afterwards? Pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Cool. That's yeah. really, really yeah, cool. Yeah, certainly within two sessions. Would you say it would be um, people like re-embodying their yeah. perception yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of definitely. themselves? Yeah, definitely. Um, re-embodying re-embodying is interesting. It's more, more of um, becoming aware of that they have possibility. Yes. So it's a shifting of perception of their embodiment. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Your ladies' names and how you met Ben and how you how do you come to be in this situation right now? We have a mutual friend who's a community. Um, um, what would you call her? She's a housing with support officer yeah. with Bloom Community Homes. But uh, what she does is she says, what shall we do next, girls? Because we belong to a group called the Barbican Legends. Nice. That's Penny. That's Gloria. I'm Jill, or Gillianne. And um, she came to us one day and she said, well, oh, how about movement to music? And, oh, you are. I've got two left feet and no sense of timing. Don't have to have sense of timing. Not to you just have to move to music. She'd met Ben. So because That's how it started. Yeah, we nice. like her. That was eight months ago. Was it? We're still here. It gets worse every week. <laughs> uh, it started off as... But this, oh, we enjoy it. It's this, joyful, this it's fun, it stops you feeling because, depressed. Yeah. It's, it's probably measuring, you know, how, how you can improve your coordination, your balance, and, and everything, really, when you're older. Mm. You know, it's, it's how you can improve what you've got. But I think, in a strange way, it also helps how you view the world. You know, you, yeah. you, I suppose the endorphins kick in, and life's not so bad, is it? I uh, stretch and bend a bit. I can walk. Then. <laughs> Do what what did you feel like the first time you noticed a difference in yourselves? A bit of clean up today. I suppose it creeps I think out it's gradually. A small yeah. Progression, really. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? Like, what, you suddenly amazing. find you walk up something like Cliff Road with three really bags of shopping and you're not puffing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Cliff Road's quite steep. Because that's a pretty quite steep. You know, it's, it's that sort of just a thing that you begin to notice. You do, you do feel an improvement overall if you're doing more really exercise, and this is good exercise. This, you can feel, in, you know, that you feel the next day a little bit. Yeah, it is. It's different. It's, you know. Had you tried anything before? Oh, we do Tai Chi, oh, yeah. swimming, dancing. Swimming. Yeah. I don't go swimming any longer. Too damn cold. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, 
walking. Yeah, walking. 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 Because they started walking. bringing That's walking easy. into the yeah. equation for yeah. people that don't yeah. walk. Yeah. Now people have a well, car well, and they never get out of it. They yeah. never walk. They're trying to get people to try it. You know, to try that walking. So we do that from the church.